How's it going everybody? I figure it's time for another little presentation now, so um, why not? Uh, I'm going to do one uh, for you now I call uh, Don't Ask. You know, being a parent, sometimes you don't know if you're doing it right, so you go with the flow. Like a little while back, about a month or two, I was fixing the mower, or at least trying to, when a small voice behind me made me quite perplexed as my eight-year-old daughter said, Daddy, what's sex? Well, when I realized for sure that this wasn't a joke, I couldn't decide first a heart attack or stroke. It's, this is my daughter, and she's only eight. I thought ten years for sure before her first date. Let alone asking questions like this one, you see. It's way too soon for the birds and the bees. Times have they changed since I was that age. Even saying the S word would put Dad in a rage. But of course I had four sisters. But enough about that. I'll get back to the story. So, there I sat. Well, I've been a good dad up to this point, I guess. So I sat down beside her. I tried my best. First I thought, lies. That's the way I added this. You see, my dear daughter is a type of a fish. Well, that didn't work. She just looked at me funny. No, no, I, I meant to say lion. No zebra, no monkey. Well, she called me out and said, Dad, you're not fooling me. I'm practically a grown-up. I'm in grade three. Well, the further it went, the worse I got. I stuttered and stammered and cleared my throat a lot. And I thought I'd give in now and let it all go and tell her stuff she probably shouldn't know. You see, there's boys and there's girls, and when they like each other, well, they'll grow up to be fathers and mothers. Well, I continued on with some minor detail, but my heart was pounding as she sat there and stared. I even told her to rhyme about the space and the string. Uh, you know the one, I remember it, I think. When God made boys, he made them out of string, and he had some left over, so he left a little thing. And when God made girls, he made them out of lace, and he didn't have enough, so he left a little space. Well, I tried my hardest to continue the tale, but I thought it's time to give up. Yes, this time I failed. But before our talk ended, I said, now listen here, miss. Why in the world would you ask about this? Well, she still seemed a little in shock from my words, not expecting a story about bees and birds. She said, Mam said to come out. Now listen to us next. She said, supper will be ready in a couple of secs. Thank you.